Joe, I know it's a day old, but how do you look back now on CC's outing? Uh, tremendous outing. Um, it's great to see. Uh, gives us an opportunity to win the series. And um, I mean, he was really, really good yesterday. You look at all this stuff, he was ahead in the count. I mean, the, really, the two toughest innings were probably the first two innings for him, and he got better as the day went on. Can you appreciate that for a young catcher like Cervelli, he said it gives him so much confidence having been out there for that and also makes him really want to catch a no-hitter? Yeah, I can, and, and it does. And it, I was asked a question yesterday. I thought it you know, made a difference for Georgie when he caught David Wells' perfect game. And I... And I can, you know, it's CC doesn't show a lot of emotion, and Servi does, but it seemed the Servi was more excited yesterday than CC. After for some of you eight weeks, maybe even a little bit more away, how nice will it be to go home? Oh, I can't wait. Um, you know, there's so many things great about going home. Um, you know, you think about your family, you get to be with your family, sleep in your own bed, things that you're used to. You walk in the clubhouse, you know where everything's at. Our fans are tremendous. Um, looking forward to. To Tuesday, and um, I can't wait. Joe, you ever wonder, like, if he got the out with Shopik, and then you tell him, all right, you're not going out for the ninth, he goes, I am, and he just walks out with you. I would probably have to get a couple of guys. I don't think one guy could have held him back. Um, but CC's respectful, and, and I really believe CC understands the big picture. And, you know, to send him out there for the ninth and he throws 20, 25 pitches and then he's not the same pitcher the whole year. I mean, you're going to question yourself and it would really hurt us. Would that have been the hardest decision you've ever had to make as manager? Uh, you know, I, I didn't think it was a really hard decision um, just because of where we are at in the season. Um, and he hadn't really approached, you know, he hadn't been to 120. Um, a disappointing season or a uh, decision maybe for him uh, but I didn't necessarily think that was really a hard decision Joe, if, if uh, CC had given up a hit in the seventh would you have brought Chan Ho in there or would you let him kind of uh, you know, would you let him have uh, finished out the seventh I probably would let him finish no he would have finished out the seventh I, I had Chan Ho up just you know just in case um, but no he, he would have kept going what is the hardest decision you ever had to make The hardest thing I ever had to do in the game of baseball was to announce to the crowd in Chicago that Daryl Kyle had passed. The hardest decision I've ever had to make personally was retirement. How about his manager? You know, I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of things that move very quickly. And, and you don't ever say, you know, that was your hardest decision. I, I can't really tell you. Leaving the yes booth was tough, right? <laughs> Extremely tough. <laughs> Joe, does it look like a player tries to put a, a bad game behind him right away? You just, whatever decisions you've made, whether they work out or not, you just sort of put it behind you and forget about it? I mean, frankly, you can't think of one. It's sort of interesting. Um, I, I think you have to put them behind you because the, the new day brings new challenges, and if you're focused on what you did the day before, I don't think you can clearly think about what you're doing. You try to learn from all your decisions, and, and um, but decisions are, are based on preparation and discussion, um, and nothing's 100 percent in this game. Um, so I mean, that's you know that's why this game lends itself to a lot of discussion about decisions. So were you prepared? I mean. CC would have you know, probably just gone by what you said, obviously. Were you prepared for the backlash from, from fans who would have questioned you taking them out of the order? Yeah, I mean, I got to do what I believe is right for for CC and this organization. I mean, it, I, I suggest I would have been booed here. On the road, I would have been booed. But, you know, that's part of the decisions that you have to make as a manager. And um, as a manager, you can't be short sighted. You can't. I mean, yes, you focus on winning the game that day. That's short sighted. But you can't be short sighted on someone's health and the long term effect that it would have on your organization.